Hello my beautiful Gemini, welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. This is your read for the first two weeks of January 2023. Um, please only take what resonates as usual. If you haven't seen my channel before, I'm Lauren, I'm an energy worker. Um, I was told and guided to do this, so I do this. Right guys, we are flying today. So, we run with energy. So we are going to take it. Right, my beautiful Gemini, what do we have? And on the bottom, we have the Queen of Wands. So this is something you're manifesting. So we have the Hangman, Judgment, the Three of Wands and the Chariot. Right, Angel Spirit Guides, can we clarify the Hangman, please? <clears throat> okay. Judgment, again. Okay, we've got Judgment twice. Any more? Any more? Thank you. Oh, boom. And now, may we clarify, judgment, please. Thank you. Judgment. Thank you. Okay. Any more? Thank you. Oh, boom. Uh, and the three of wands, please, Angel Spirit, guys. The three of wands. Thank you. In reverse. Anything else for the three of wands? Oh, okay. Then may we clarify the chariot? What's the chariot about? Thank you. We have the four of cups. Ah, got it. Okay, yeah. The six of pentacles and the high priestess. And at the bottom of the pack, we have the king of pentacles. Right, guys, I can clearly see what's going on here. So we have the hangman that is clarified with judgment and the world. Boom. We have judgment clarified with the emperor and the queen of wands. We have the three of wands clarified with death in reverse. We have the chariot clarified with the four of cups, the six of pentacles, the high priestess. And at the bottom of the pack, the major pack, we have the queen of wands and on the other, the king of pentacles. So I shall grab my drink, take a seat and we shall begin. Right, my beautiful Gemini, we are starting January 2023 and we are starting in reflection mode. We have got the hangman. So the hangman is time for pause, is what it's saying here. This is when you gain enlightenment. This is your time for growth. This is patience, okay? The hangman also talks about sacrificing something for better. It's spiritual enlightenment. It's telling you to pause because this is when we're going to gain our clarity moving forward. That is teamed with judgment and the world. So once an opportunity is given, it should not be ignored. That's what it's saying. It's blowing its blooming horn. So you will hear this because you're going to pause. This is your spiritual enlightenment. When we connect, we get clarity. And this is what it's saying to me, my beautiful Gemini. You know, you need that clarity. This is why it's putting you in hangman mode. Because moving into 2023, um, it looks like you want a complete new reality. Because you've got the queen of wands on the bottom here. We've got judgment coming into play. You're balancing. So this is creating your own reality moving into 2023. So pause. Have a hangman mode moment gain your enlightenment hear the horn being blown this is judgment this is judgment on your side um you know this is new potential opportunity once given shouldn't be ignored career it means success coming into play um it speeds up the rest of the reading so it can actually and we've got it twice so this could be really really fast this is the first two weeks of january obviously now the world is a completion of a cycle start of another one she's the naked dancer she's holding a wand in each hand so the world for me is a completion of a cycle it's rewards of labor and success are coming to you um it's could mean travel in the world is inside harmony which is great to see and you're going to get this inside harmony once you put yourself in this hangman mode because you're going to balance yourself out you're going to get your enlightenment Moving forward, right, we have judgment again. Judgment blowing the horn over the family. You've got to listen. It's it's blowing it so loud that you have to listen. There is a new opportunity coming to you. Do not miss it. And, um, you know, that's reminded here, up here. So do not miss this opportunity. We've got opportunity, opportunity. Don't miss the opportunity. They are screaming to you and they're screaming through me, my beautiful Gemini. So listen, if that means you having some reflection time and meditate, talk to your higher self, gain clarity, 
in your gut you know what this is I can feel it because my tummy's just rumbled um so th that gut feeling that's your intuition okay so listen to it you need to sit in your boss energy your emperor energy we queen of wands so you've manifested this coming into fruition and you've got to basically go for it so judgment on your side um new potential just what I've said speeds up the rest of the reading so it's all going to happen blooming fast the three of wands guess what we're talking about opportunity <laughs> opportunity growth creativity is telling you ships are about to come in now we have death in reverse so this is something sorry we've got sage everywhere as well this is something that has you know about that's what i feel you know about you've almost been blocking the energy of it the three of wands this creative opportunity because we've got death in reverse so what's happening is you've probably not listened to something um, the universe is shaking you here. This is enforced change is going to happen now. The removal of what should have been removed is going to be removed by the universe. OK, so that's what it's that's what it's saying, because it wants you to have movement forward and you will, because we've got the chariot there. So the chariot is charging forward. This is destiny driving you forward. My beautiful Gemini, it's destiny. OK, so you're moving forward. So if you put something off is what I feel, if you haven't had the opportunity previously or you've had obstacles in your past stopping you doing something that you've wanted to do because you've had these opportunities and this growth, this creativity, whatever's sparking you up here, the universe is coming into play and it's going to drive you forward because they're going to remove the obstacles here. The chariot is charging forward, is in charge of the Sphinx. The chariot um, basically is movement, it's taken control, victory, conquest over difficult odds, it's a force of destiny driving you forward, travel, motivation, on expected good news happening for you so that's absolutely amazing to see you know the chariot on the old tarot it's slightly different but on the new tarot is in charge of the things you can see he's gone from a zero to a seven he's taken control of the situation you're going to do so now again the four of cups is coming out so i this is an opportunity i don't want you to miss <laughs> and it's just the universe they're screaming it through this read so as you can see he's looking at the three cups he's missing this one that's being gifted to him from the universe they're saying here's a cup let me well listen gemini please listen <laughs> so listen now that's teamed with the six of pentacles and the high priestess high priestess is perfectly balanced okay how does she get clarity the high priestess to get clarity to move forward is your inner wisdom it's your intuition it's your mystic power seeing what other think seeing what others can't okay it's balancing those emotions. How do we balance those emotions? We can work on the heart chakra. We can work on our chakras in general. You can do meditations. You can gain clarity. You know, there's so many ways. Some people like to walk. They connect with nature. You have to do what's right for you. There's no right or wrong. You know what works for you. Okay. Um, we That's also a team with the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles can mean uh, generosity coming in. It can mean generosity towards this new opportunity absolutely it's equilibrium coming into play as you can see he's holding the scales he's giving to one not the other but equilibrium's coming back into play but it's about the balance of you as well so you need to balance yourself absolutely beautifully absolutely beautifully because you want to charge forward on the chariot beautifully balanced into this new venture okay so this new opportunity this new growth whatever that is so at the bottom we have the queen of wands so you've manifested this this is something that you've wanted to put into fruition and we have the king of pentacles so it's going to be very very lucrative for you is what it's telling me here just to conclude have a pause have a pause time for reflection the horn will be blown it'll enable you to listen and move forward the world energy is the end of a cycle start of another one new chapter beginning for you okay it can obviously mean traveling the world but battles are overcome it's the start of a new chapter judgment's coming in again it just wants to double clarify listen for the horn and if that means you meditate in higher self meditation whatever listen for it you need to sit in your boss energy your emperor energy mind over matter you've created this with the queen of wands OK, this is something you created. You've got her twice. You've got Queenie twice. She's creatively gifted. She's a lover of nature. If this is describing you, 
absolutely beautiful opportunities are coming into you the death in reverse means the universe are going to remove the obstacles or remove what should have been removed by you and hasn't been so the universe is going to come into play this is enabling you to move forward and charge forward and you do charge forward with the chariot you know you're in charge of those things it's, you, it's a force of destiny um it's again it's just telling you don't miss the opportunities the universe is gifting you here um it will be financially abundant it's equilibrium coming into play high priestess energy balance those emotions stay in perfect balance because when you're in perfect balance you sit in alignment that's when you actually can listen and you get that clarity moving forward she's your inner wisdom use your inner wisdom moving forward queen of wands again just telling me you're creating your own reality this is something you're you've been wanting and it's going to be fruitful for you with the king of pentacles so there we go gemini wow Thank you, Angel Spirit, guys. That was beautiful. Can we conclude this with a little angel card for our beautiful, beautiful Gemini? So listen to those horns being blown, my beautiful Gemini. Listen to those horns. If you want it, throw it out, guys. What do they need to see? Thank you. Cooperation. This is probably why you need to sit in your boss energy. Angel wisdom suggests that you use your skills and talents for the common good. Eliminate power struggles, conflict and competition, which come from an ego desire to win. Cooperation for the highest good promotes harmony and togetherness and draws the best from anyone. That's why you need to see in your boss energy. Make it your aim that everyone has a sense of satisfaction from work done. Then you become a spreader of goodwill and harmony. Your angel guidance is to bring people together and explore how you can mutually assist each other. Boss energy again. Your attitude of sharing will ensure that you benefit in your turn, for the angels will bless your endeavours. The affirmation is, I cooperate with everyone. And that's sitting in your boss energy because your boss has to be in balance. That's sitting in your high priestess energy because she's in balance. You've manifested this. So absolutely, guys. Just listen for the horn. I can't wait to do the other half if you read. So I'm sending love and light to you. Have an epic first couple of weeks of January. You're going to. Wow. Don't miss this opportunity. So I'm sending lots of love and light from me, Lauren. And until next time, bye-bye for now, Gemini.